Hi students. In today's session, we are going to discuss a new kind of accelerator that is the beta tron. It is again a device used to accelerate electrons to very high energies but the speciality here is that the electrons are accelerated to very high energies in a stable orbit or in a ray in a in an orbit of constant radius when you learned about the cyclotron we had discussed about its limitation that is when the velocity of the ion increases the frequency of revolution of the ion also goes on decreasing this was because when the velocity increases there will be a relativistic increase in the mass of the ion and when the mass of the ion increases the frequency of revolution of ion in its orbit decreases so that the ions will take longer time to describe the circular path and um, the time taken by it to uh, come out of the d will not be equal to the fixed period of the oscillating electric field or um, it will not be equal to half of the time period of the oscillating electric field and the ions will lag behind and they will not be accelerated further so this limitation was told to be overcome in a number of ways and the first way was to apply a varying field or field variation that is the frequency of the ion uh, frequency of revolution of the ion in the orbit is maintained a constant by increasing the magnetic field so that the term d in the root of 1 minus b square by c square is maintained a constant that is a term in your uh, frequency of revolution of the ion and that term is maintained a constant by varying the magnetic field so uh, here again in the beta tron in a similar manner the magnetic field is varied but the speciality here is that the radius of the uh, electron in its orbit is not allowed to or uh, the radius of the orbit is not allowed to increase the electrons are accelerated they gain energy but they move in a stable orbit now let us see how this is made possible first the construction so a beta tron consists of a donut shaped vacuum chamber this is a donut shaped vacuum chamber uh, a donut shaped means something like a ring a ring pole illa oru vacuum aanu indinte ullil vacuum chamber aanu chamber inde ullil aanu nammude electron acceleration sambhavikkunnathu and this donut shaped vacuum chamber is placed between the pole pieces of an electromagnet or electromagnet in the pole pieces in the edayil aanu ee donut ne vechirikkunnathu so that the direction of the magnetic field is along the axis of the donut or axis of the donut passes through its center and the direction of the magnetic field is like this along the axis of the donut the electrons are produced by an electron gun and are allowed to move in a circular orbit of constant radius in this vacuum chamber the magnetic field varies very slowly compared to the frequency of revolution of the electron in the equilibrium orbit so this much about the construction one is it consists of a magnet uh, a donut shaped vacuum chamber inside which the electrons will orbit and it is placed between the pole pieces of an electromagnet so that the direction of the field magnetic field is along the axis of the uh, vacuum chamber the magnetic magnet produces a strong magnetic field in the donut and the electrons are produced by a by an electron gun and the magnetic field varies very slowly in comparison with the frequency of revolution of the electrons in their orbits here the varying magnetic field has two effects on the electron ivada nammal apply cheyina varying magnetic field in rendu panigal undu it has two functions or it has two effects on the electrons one is the the, the changing magnetic field or varying magnetic field cre creates a change in magnetic flux if b is varying 
then the magnetic flux phi linked with it will also vary with time d phi by dt and that changing magnetic flux will produce an induced emf epsilon which is responsible for the acceleration of the electrons so here we are not applying another high frequency um, oscillator to accelerate the electron the varying magnetic field itself is responsible for accelerating the electron that is the first effect of the varying magnetic field and the second effect is as usual the magnetic field uh, will bend the electrons in a circular path and confine them to the uh, region of changing flux so it will make the uh, electrons follow circular path and confine them in this region okay so these are the two functions of the magnetic field so we discussed the construction of the beta tron and the two functions done or performed by the varying magnetic field in the beta tron one is to accelerate the electrons the second one is to maintain the electrons in a stable circular orbit now let us discuss how the electrons or the theory behind uh, the electrons getting energized yes yet following a an orbit of constant radius and either if the electrons in energy cooling under our accelerate to a pet our energy code and yet they are moving in a stable orbit paksha sadharana gedike energy kudiyal avare describe cheyna orbit in the radius kudi kudi varanam pakshe ivade adu sambhavikkunnilla electrons are moving in a in an orbit of constant radius so how is this made possible id engena sambhavikkunu adinde theory aanu ini namukku padikkanulladu so consider an electron moving in an orbit of radius r uh, and let phi be the flux linked with the orbit okay so uh, there is an there is an electron moving in an orbit of radius r and if, if phi is the flux linked with the orbit then because of the applied magnetic field we know that the magnetic field is a slowly varying magnetic field so that the flux increases at a rate of d phi by dt if the magnetic field is Uh, increasing then the flux will also increase as d phi by dt and the induced emf linked with the orbit is given by epsilon is equal to d phi by dt epsilon is equal to d phi by dt here i told you the magnetic field is varying uh, with time it varies sinusoidally with time so initially the magnetic field will increase then it will decrease it varies in that manner so when the a magnetic field increases there will be a flux increase given by the rate rate d phi by dt because of which there will be an induced emf e epsilon is equal to d phi by dt so this will create a, an increase in energy of the electron and that energy increase or the work done by the electron on the electron of charge e in one revolution what is the work done in one revolution is given by charge into potential here charge is e and potential is the induced emf so that it is equal to minus e d phi by dt that is the work done by the ele uh, electron of charge e in one revolution is given by minus e d phi by dt that is the work done it's uh, i have made a mistake here it's not the work done by an electron it is the work done on an electron of charge e in one revolution that is the energy gained by the electron in one revolution okay now this is one method for calculating the energy or work done on the electron in one revolution in one more way we are going to calculate the energy gain of the electron in terms of force into distance energy or work done is equal to force into distance now if f is the tangential electric force acting on the orbital orbiting electron and the path length covered by it that is the distance covered by it in one revolution is 2 pi r then work done in one, uh, um, on the electron in one revolution is f into 2 pi r that is f into 2 pi r force into distance is equal to charge into induced emf that is i equated both these energies that both are the energies gained by the electron in one revolution or both are the work done on the electron in one revolution so i can equate them both 
so that I get what is the equation for the tangential force um, acting on the electron which is accelerating it. That is the electron ne accelerate cheyikinna tangential force ekkareyana na namakki idil ninnu kandupidikkam. F is equal to minus E by 2 pi r d phi by d. Now, we know that here the velocity of the electron increases due to this force and it will try to move in an orbit of larger radius. But in a beta electron, this is not allowed and the electrons are confined to a stable orbit having a constant radius. So, how is this made possible? It is not possible. That is the radius of the Energy electron energy kudi alum radius kuda the very stable orbital namakidine engine nikan sadiki no. Now we know that because of the presence of the magnetic flux or magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the electron orbit, other either the electron ning and the orbit in a perpendicular right hand magnetic field up the other. Because of this magnetic field, the electron will experience a radial force inward given by either because of this magnetic field, the electron will follow a circular path and it will obey this condition. It will experience a radial inward force uh, uh, given by centripetal force. Uh, mv square by r is equal to bev that is the magnetic Lorentz force here you can cancel v and v and you get mv or the momentum of the electron is equal to be into this r ber that is the momentum of, uh, of the electron is given by p is equal to mv is equal to ber or by newton's second law we get the force F is equal to acting on the electron is rate of change of momentum dmv by dt is equal to er db by dt. I differentiated this here. But here we know that the charge on the electron is a constant. The radius of the electron must be maintained a constant. But we can vary the magnetic field. So that uh, F is equal to er db by dt. So what is this? We are applying a force such that the radius of the uh, a radius of the orbit described by the electron is remaining a constant with time. So, uh, to maintain the constant radius of the orbit, this force, that is the force responsible for the electron to move in a circular path, must be made equal to the force responsible for accelerating the electron. Uh, electron a constant radius will move and anubadik in the force that is this F which is equal to ER dB by dt that is the end of the day our electron accelerate in a tangential force in the end of the day electron accelerate in the end of the day that is the radius radius of the orbit constant directive that is here we have to equate both these forces that is the force responsible to accelerate responsible for accelerating the electron or providing energy to the electron must be made equal to the force which enables it to move in a uh, in a in an orbit of constant radius if you equate these two forces if these two forces are made numerically equal then at the same time the electron will get accelerated and its energy will increase but the radius of its orbit will be stable or it will or the radius of the orbit will be a constant so I equated these two forces E by 2 pi r d phi by dt is equal to E r d b by dt or d phi is equal to 2 pi r square b or integrating d phi from 0 to phi and you integrate it on either sides that is integral 0 to phi d phi is equal to integral 0 to b 2 pi r square db that is equal to you get a very important condition here that is phi is equal to 2 pi r square b this is called the beta tron condition that is the flux along the orbit of uh, the uh, orbit described by the orbiting electron must be equal to twice the flux enclosed by the orbit it is it must be equal to twice the flux enclosed by the orbit what is the meaning of this 
If the electron is moving along a closed path, we know that the flux enclosed by it phi is equal to B into A, that is B magnetic field into A, the area enclosed by that uh, orbit. Area enclosed must be simply equal to phi r square. So, the flux actually must be phi is equal to B into phi r square. But here we see that along the orbit, along the orbit, the flux must be twice the flux enclosed by the orbit. That is the orbit in the only little flux in a call. Erecti flux evade venom orbit till venom. Along the orbit, the flux must be twice the flux enclosed inside the orbit. In any other variation, number the magnetic field will come to an atial. That is the orbit in the Ulvashatellam the name magnetic field, Ulla magnetic field. Field in a card, erective um, and then the amount of magnetic field along the orbit. So, the amount of magnetic field or the uh, intensity of magnetic flux along the orbit must be twice the intensity in the region enclosed by the orbit. If this condition is satisfied, this condition which is called the beta tron condition is satisfied, then the electron will get accelerated and it will move. At the same time, it will move in a radius, uh, in a radius, uh, in an orbit of constant radius. This is called the beta tron condition. And how do you achieve this? How do you engineer this magnetic flux? Such a distribution of magnetic flux, that is the magnetic flux along the orbit being twice the magnetic field enclosed by the orbit, is obtained by special pole pieces where the magnetic field is greater at the center of the orbit than at its circumference. This is attained by using special kind of uh, magnetic uh, um, special kind of pole pieces for this required magnetic field condition. Okay. Now, let us see how the electrons are injected into the into such a mag time varying magnetic field and when it is extracted from this time varying magnetic field. I told you the magnetic field varies sinusoidally with time. That is here it increases very gradually, reaches a peak value, then decreases, then it again goes on increasing, reaches a peak value, decreases. The magnetic field is allowed to vary slowly in this manner. So what is happening here? Initially when the magnetic field increases, you inject the electron. We will inject the electron, then the magnetic field will increase, the flux link with it will increase and the electrons will accelerate and it will gain a maximum energy by the ma by the time the magnetic field reaches its peak value. Magnetic field value electrons in a energy But after that the magnetic field is reducing. When the magnetic field reduces, the electrons will return. Magnetic field electron electron will retard. electron extraction to have to extract the electron before the magnetic field begins to decrease or the uh, uh, electron will begin to retard and its energy will decrease. So, once the peak value of magnetic field is reached and the energy acquired by the electron is maximum, then the electron is extracted by using an auxiliary field and the beam, high energy electron beam is allowed to fall on the target. So, this is how the uh, variation of magnetic field varies with time and how the electrons are injected and extracted into this magnetic field or into and from the magnetic field. I hope the session on uh, beta tron is clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, please do contact. Thank you.